Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunter Call of Wild, we're going to be discussing what is the best rifle in the game. In Call of the Wild, what is your favourite rifle? The one you use all the time, your go-to rifle. Now, I'm on Parquet Fernando. I'm looking at the right there, and I've got my favourite rifle. The best rifle, in my opinion, the 7mm. But there's a couple of other rifles which is really close. What is your favourite? Drop that in the comments. Is it going to be a diamond? It is a legendary. It's got quite thick antlers, but there is a few troll legendaries now about, and that's quite a bit under actually. Look, you need 251, that's 239. But the 7 mil is just so good. There's a lot of other rifles. 243. A lot of people don't use that that much, but 243 is right up there for me. <laughs> I think it's actually one of the best guns there is. It's just under the 7mm. I do use it about as much as the 7mm. The 3.38 is also one of my favourite ones, especially for big game. But the 7mm is what I often use the most. So, what is your favourite? I always carry the 2.43, the 7mm, and the 3.38. I've been using some other guns recently as well, but I always just keep going back to my middle gun which is a 7mm, it's just a good all-round gun. Like I say, the, the 243 is really close as well with that. If it could kill a bit bigger game, it might even take the 7mm spot, but at the moment, the 7mm is the best rifle in the game for me. This week, we've learned that on the 10th of November, we're going to have Euro Rabbit, so how do you think about those? Drop that in the comments, I'd like to know how you're going to hunt them. What do you think we should have? Should we have dogs to help hunt those? There's been teases about dogs. I've done a little video about dogs. If you haven't seen that, check that out before. Coming to Call of Wild. That would be obviously a big thing um, to do with rabbits. And it's actually quite a common thing to hunt rabbits with, with dogs and obviously other animals. Now I've got another legendary in front of me. Also, there's going to be a character model of Remy Warren. Uh, that was... An <laughs> That's a 7mm has done its job, another legendary. I'm hoping this time I don't get a troll one. I've been hunting red deer quite a lot recently. I'm trying to get a big albino, that's what I really want. Uh, it'd be really nice to get a legendary albino, but fingers crossed. You know what I mean? You never know. If, you, if you're out there, if you're out there all the time hunting, sooner or later it might happen. So that's the only way you're going to get one. I'm also after True Rax Mule Deer, a diamond version. I don't think they exist. <laughs> Not for me anyway, I've been putting in the hours now, it's, it's been, uh, well I don't know how many weeks, it's been now 5-6 weeks or something, and I've still not seen a max level one, uh, and I know a lot of other people are the same, um, but I keep trying, and hopefully we get there, right, let's have a look at this, so the, the blood's good, here is the legendary red deer, as the best rifle brought me a diamond, is it going to be a diamond red deer? It's got a really nice big right antler, and the left one's totally different, so true racks for the red deer, definitely working, and it is a diamond red deer, what's that score? 25120, we just scraped over, but that's another diamond for my Tzatziki Safari Trophy Dodge, which is always welcome. I'm only putting in diamonds um, or extremely rare animals now, so we're getting to a stage where it's really hard to just keep putting in trophies, but the trophies that go in there are going to be really nice. Uh, that's a good thing about it. Once you get to a certain standard and you just keep raising the bar and raising the bar, the lodge is coming together really nice. I might actually uh, jump over to Spring Creek Manor soon and continue filling that up because I've got some really good trophy animals in that. So if you want to see that as well, drop that in the comments. I could do a little tour of that. I've not been there for quite a while. It would be nice to return there and just see how it's going on. Right, so you can see the trophy lodge. It's always nice to visit Tzatziki because every time I come in, I only come in when I've got a nice trophy to add. So when you come, it's sort of like a, a feeling of, yes, let's add something else. It's sort of like a sticker book where you just need that sticker and you're like, right, I've got it. <laughs> I want to put it in the, in the book now. So if you want to see anything specifically for Call of the Wild or the Hunter Classic, drop it in the comments. I'm always swapping between the two games, filming both games just depending on what people want to see. So if there's any weapon you want to see, if you want to see a guide on a certain animal, drop that in the comments. I'm actually going to put the diamond red deer we just got in this little room. Now I've got quite a few nice trophies already in here, quite a few rare turkeys, diamond turkeys, 
some diamonds on the back wall, they're all diamonds. We've got a piebald mythical red deer at the top, two diamond fallow deer, we've got a legendary red deer at the bottom. So we're gonna upgrade that, put the diamond red deer we've just got there, and it's looking really nice. So that's me, Ron McTube. Today we've been talking about what is the best rifle in Call of the World. For me, it's a seven millimeter. Let me know what yours is. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.